people aren't that good at assessing their own attractiveness. If you look in the mirror and you think that your vision is accurate, there are a couple of depressing and seemingly consistent effects where people who are unattractive aren't great at realizing that. They're largely blissfully unaware, unaware. and overrate themselves. So if you have people who rate themselves, people who are unattractive tend to overrate themselves. And people of middling attractiveness tend to be more accurate. And then people who are very attractive, like extremely attractive people, yeah. they tend not to quite realize it. They don't necessarily fully have a grasp on like, you know, they might be a one in a hundred beautiful person person and they just think like, oh, maybe I'm one in 10. That's not specific numbers from a study, but that's the general phenomenon that we're seeing. So I would say, how can you make your guess more accurate? It might be depressing for some people, but I would say, look at your exes. So if you've got a few boyfriends, a few girlfriends in your past, it might not be a bad idea to just take a little look. People, interpartner correlations of attractiveness tend to be somewhat high. And so it's not necessarily a bad idea to say, well, how attractive are the people I date? How attractive am I? Let me see. Who have I dated? Oh, everyone I've dated is super hot. I'm probably super hot because right. super hot people generally date super all people. But it's like, oh, everyone I've dated is actually very unattractive. It's like, well, very unattractive people generally can't date very attractive people. So 